Welcome to the video guys. So today I'm uh, bringing you a full collection of cuts. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see the entire collection on fseondemand.com, which is our app. It's free, so go check it out. So this collection, I'm gonna start off, I just create a circle around the crown area, and I'm also launching my brand new scissor, which is now available for purchase. So go to freesaloneducation.com if you wanna pick this thing up. It's lightweight. I did a whole dry cutting collection because I wanna show you guys the versatility. It's not just a wet cutting scissor, it's a dry cutting scissor as well, and it's super comfortable in your hand I designed this thing myself and Mizutani created it in their factory in Japan by hand so it's a top-notch scissor the last scissor you'll need uh, so check it out on freesaloneducation.com sectioning for this cut super simple we're gonna create a shag look shags are super popular in the salon so what I do is I take my section I find the guideline based on where I want the hair to fall so this is just above her nose and I start by using a tease cutting technique, which I've shown you guys quite a bit in the past. But here's the difference on what I'm doing to create this shattered fringe. So I over direct the hair. Everything goes right above the nose. Now, as I start with the tease cutting technique, I slowly slide my finger back, which creates length in the very top portion of that uh, fringe which starts to add separation and texture to the bang. So that's kind of my goal with this is to create that texture, um, make it nice and light. If I went through and just layered the whole thing, it would lay really funny. So I just create that kind of uh, shattered effect on the ends by sliding my finger out. You'll see me do the same thing on this side. So just continuing over directing everything to the center and I go all the way over to the edge of the eyebrow, no further than that. If you go too far, you'll end up with sideburns on the side of the head and you don't want that. So what this does, it creates a curved U-shape effect in the fringe. So uh, it's a pretty popular look uh, if you're trying to transition your guests into um, a bang. So just over directing it over creates length on the sides and then sliding my finger out creates that shattered effect. Then I go through when I finally done and I finalize that shape and cut some of the longer hairs that happen with tease cutting. Tease cutting is a very forgiving technique. That's why I love teaching it to you guys because it may seem complicated but it's really just a half open, half close of the scissor and just go in and cut. So now we're doing the same thing, half open, half close, and I'm over directing everything, taking sections, over directing it in front of the face, and that's gonna create our texture on the sides. The reason I like doing dry cutting is because dry cutting is a way to really see exactly what kind of shape is unfolding as you're cutting, especially if you wanna create texture in a cut. So just continuing bringing those sides to the very front and half open, half close with the scissors, sliding it along, creating that kind of face frame, but also shag look to the layering. Also pulling everything to the front is shifting all my weight to the back of the head. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you don't want longer layers in the back, you're gonna have to do something um, to create layering in the back as well. So see those layers really building up around the face. Now I take out that entire top crown area and I just pull that up into one section and I start right in the mid shaft of the hair. I start point cutting and then I slide my hand all the way up until I get to my desired length. So I'm cutting different lengths um, using a point cutting technique until I get to the very end. So it gives me that really shattered effect as well. I also did uh, custom color techniques for this collection. So um, you're kind of seeing the, that lighter tone that was in the top crown area starting to show through and the depth from the darker brown uh, coming through as well. So you can just see that movement it creates. Now I'm going with the Joyco Humidity Blocker. Um, this has got a very light hold. So I'm gonna use that because I'm gonna be using a wand to just kind of add some wave and uh, movement to this cut. So I go through, I use my wand, I face the wand down, I wrap the hair around it, keep the ends out a little bit so they get a little bit more of a straighter effect. So just working my way around the head, everything's pretty much going the same direction, getting all the hair in there. Finishing up a little bit, this is the uh, end result of our technique on the cut. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you check out the hair color if you like that as well. Also, don't forget, go check out my scissor on freesaloneducation.com. Thanks for watching.